today. I and eat it. It looks like oh, it's interrupting my video. <laughs> and so I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do rainbow tie dye paper. I eat it. <laughs> you guys loved my rainbow hair bun tutorial, so I think you're gonna love this one too. Here's what you're gonna need to make this drawing. A black pen, pencil, paper, and watercolor. So we're gonna start off by making a big circle with pencil in the middle. And you're probably gonna wanna use something that's round on the bottom, like this water bottle, for example, that's round. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'll probably put it like right here. So just find anything round around your house you could use that's about the size of your palm, and it's perfect. Now you're gonna find something else you could use in your house that's smaller round for the little buns. I'm gonna be trying out a couple different things I could use. This one is a little bit bigger circle than this, so I'm gonna try this one first. I think I'm gonna use this one. And just trace that. And yes, do make sure that when you're tracing, just make sure it does cross over a little bit. Now just fix your circle. Perfect. Now for the other one. Now that we have the second bun created, we are gonna erase the insides that we don't need. We draw the circle, and make sure you're drawing pretty light too. And now we're gonna fix the shape of the head. Just erase the sides. So you'll leave the bottom right here in this part. And we're just gonna make it a little bit narrower than before. Perfect, now we have our head shape. Now we're gonna do the neck. So make two parallel lines. And then just do the neck and the shoulders. Now make a line going down the middle of the hair. Make it very light. And now make two dots in the buns. So I'm gonna be starting out with a magenta pink kind of color. Now I'm gonna be using a red. Now for orange. Ooh. I'm just mixing greens to get the right color. Now I'm adding the blue. Okay guys, so I noticed that the paint started to bleed into each other in a little bit and I was like, oh no, so I stopped the camera, but I decided I'm gonna make that part of the hair so it could look cool.
Okay guys, so I'm done with the hair in watercolor and now I'm gonna do a little bit of the neck, just day and tan. Well, I'm done with the watercolor, now I'm gonna wait for it to dry. So my painting is all dry and now I'm gonna use pencil and retrace it. So very carefully retrace your picture and then we're going to outline it in black and then do the details. And make sure you also trace back in the little dots we did earlier in the line in the center. Now we're gonna trace it in black. You can use thin black Sharpie or just black marker. That's what I'm using. Now we're gonna start adding in the details. So we're just gonna start off with making some black lines. and just keep doing the lines up and down. Well, all done. Well, anyways, I hope you guys liked the tutorial. I think it turned out super cute, and hopefully you guys were able to follow along. Anyways, give me a thumbs up, comment what you want me to do next, and see you later, bye!